Hi, David here from uh, Tech New World. Today's video is something which I've promised a few of you for some time now, and that's taking a look at the profitability of the Apollo BTC. So I think let's take a look. So first of all, here I have it. It's running at 2.44 terahash at 159 watts and no problems at all, 0.5% hardware errors, uh, temperature 61 Celsius. It's actually really quiet. That noise you can hear is my Apollo LTC. There's the BTC, quiet. And I'm running it on balance mode. Previously I had it on eco mode and that was giving me around two terahash. So let's see it on slush pool. So here you have it. Over a 24 hour period, 2.438 terahash. Last 24 hours, we got 86 cents of BTC. Zero spot, zero, 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 one, seven, two, one BTC. Nothing great, but relatively stable and it's getting the terahash hash rate which was expected. Is it profitable? Well, let's, let's take a look at Crypto Compare. Now, I'm in the UK and electricity is gonna cost me more than you guys in the US. So with Bitcoin at $50,000, getting 2.432 terahash, which is my running rate Oh, a little bit higher over 24 hours. Let's go back. At 159 watts, 17 cents in electricity costs. I'm making 20 cents a day. So for me, it's hardly worth it. It's like 75 bucks over the year. When the unit cost me, whoa, what is it? Better part of $700, $800 after import taxes. So I, I really need... Bitcoin to go to the moon for this to pay back for itself. Let's put some US electricity in. Now that's better, about 50 cents profit a day. So for you guys in the States where you pay cheap electricity, I guess it kind of makes sense. You're gonna make close to 200 bucks profit. I mean, that still doesn't pay for your hardware. So there you have it. It's a great machine, it's quiet. You run a full node. Let's have a look at that. There you go. I've got a full Bitcoin node. Takes up 412 gigabytes of space. It's up to date. Now, that really doesn't do much for me. But hey, if you're into programming, possibly you can take advantage of that. But it's a cool thing to say. And otherwise, let's go back to the dashboard of the miner. I've noticed that on your pool, you can only set up one pool at a time. When I compare it to, uh, well, I haven't logged in, but to the Litecoin, um, you can have multi pools. And let's have a quick look at my Litecoin miner, which you can't get now. It's gonna cost you like 1200 bucks to buy one of those units. I'm running it on Eco. That's a uh, 100 mega hash. And it, it's basically getting me 0 0.01, a bit less now, actually. Um, a lot of uh, capacities come in on a Litecoin. So 0 0.008 of a Litecoin a day. But this is this is profitable. The Litecoin unit has, has been fabulous with the rise of uh, Dogecoin and Litecoin. So all I can do is hope for the same in Bitcoin. Uh, but right now it is... Here we go, let's get back to slush coin, slush pool, excuse me. There you see it, it's running about 2.38 terahash every 24 hours. And you can see that, yeah, the profitability is, is increasing. We'll have a look at this again um, over the next week to see if there's any change. But hopefully the video has been uh, useful and it's uh, an overview of the Futurebit BTC, which 
you know, a great unit. You've got the, the, the full node, you know, whatever you're going to do with that. Uh, and it is super quiet. So it is fabulous to have at home. Thanks for watching.